also on Watch ESPN and the app. Well, he puts in all the time pre-draft, so it only makes sense that we ask you to keep it up now, post-draft. Uh, post-draft, all defensive team, working on a 3-4 defense. Important to say, rookies who could have the biggest impact right away. I want to stress those words. Uh, let's start on the line here. Yeah, I want to start with Andrew Billings here from Baylor, who the Cincinnati Bengals drafted in the fourth round. Now, although the Bengals play a 4-3, I constructed this as a 3-4 because a lot of these guys fit the 3-4, and this guy's really scheme versatile. At six foot, 311 pounds, this guy is a load to deal with. And you can see here some of the highlights. You're talking about a very big man that runs about a flat five, flat 40. They will pair him up with Geno Atkins on the inside of their 4-3, and this guy will just read set the line of scrimmage and wreck havoc so Geno Atkins can do his thing as far as the pass rush is concerned. But this guy is a guy who was considered to be maybe a first-rounder at one point during the draft process, and he kind of slipped down to the fourth round, so you see the Bengals really got a good deal here. San Diego, so yeah. why the absence of him? Yeah, you know, it's not a knock against Joey, because I really do like Joey Bosa, but he's going to be making a little bit of a transition to the 3-4, sure. and that's why I put Jordan Jenkins and even a guy like Noah Spence in here, who project a little bit better as far as playing on their feet and playing on their feet on first and second down before they move to third down, where these guys will come up on the line of scrimmage and put their Any hand down. Any concern for Bosa? There's a little bit, because it's just a natural transition. It's not a natural transition, so to speak, as far as going from putting your hand down on the ground to standing up on two feet, but Joey will be able to handle it. Again, it's not a knock against him. I just kind of like how these guys would fit into a 3-4 scheme here. All right, let's go secondary. Yeah, and then really here, this is getting another one of my favorites in this draft, and this is Keanu Neal, who the Atlanta Falcons took in the first round out of University of Florida, and this is a guy who they took because Dan Quinn wanted a guy that reminded him of Cam Chancellor from his time in Seattle, and Keanu Neal is going to be played that way as kind of the enforcer in the secondary, the guy that they put down near the line of scrimmage, very smart, very high character, a guy who, even though he's very young, that the Atlanta Falcons de defense will follow. And I think Atlanta has right now made it a point of emphasis to really take care of their football team down the middle, just like they did on offense by getting Alex Mack and putting him at center to help out Matt Ryan. This guy's kind of the same kind of role on defense, and even as a young guy, they're putting a lot of trust in him, and deservedly so, because he's going to be a special player. Two of the guys that you don't have in the secondary, Hargraves and no Jalen Ramsey. Yeah. So what, what's the reasoning to, to stack it the other way? Well, I think as we all know, they're not two of my favorites when it comes to corner. I mean, You've I, been watching it all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, re I really like Eli Apple from Ohio State, and I know some people think that the Giants reached to take him where they took him, but look, this guy is a very good player. As a matter of fact, you could say of all all the corners technically and fundamentally Eli Apple's the best one for three quarters of the down and by that I mean the last quarter of the down as far as finishing on the football making interceptions it's something that he needs to improve some of it is due to the way they were coaching these guys to finish on the football but I think Eli Apple's going to be fine and as far as William Jackson the third he is an absolute production machine Jalen Ramsey had three career interceptions okay Vernon Hargraves has some speed deficiencies this guy is a burner so I think when it's all said and done these guys in their schemes are going to be just fine, and they're going to wind up, I believe, being better than those two, but we'll see. I'm in the minority, that's for sure. Mm, all right, five first-round picks on Lewis's all-defensive team coming out of the NFL draft. Uh, we will see how it all shakes yeah. out.